Just recently, I participated in the GMTK Game Jam, where I had 48 hours to make a game from scratch. The twist? I have never touched a game engine. Alright, let's make something. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm not going into this completely blind. I've done my research. I've watched my fair share of two and a half YouTube videos. What I've learned is that there's a plan, a process, a strategy to this. I'm talking a step-by-step -step tutorial for perfect results every time. This jam's theme is joined together. What am I supposed to do with that? It's time for step one. For this step, it's time for the good and trusty MS Paint. Mouse ready, brush inked, it's brainstorming time. Twenty minutes later, I have an idea. Whether or not it's a good idea is a different question, but that's beside the point. Step two. Funny editor's note. Uh, the brainstorming session ended with the idea of the character being powered by an energy source, but at some point between then and making the game, I completely forgot about that, and instead decided on a payload that needed to be carried to the end of the level. Yeah, uh, they, they don't call me Mr. Consistent for no reason. Wait, no, I need sprites. I'm gonna start with some developer art, and by that, I mean colored boxes. I'll make legitimate art later. I'll need a player, box. a payload, another box. And a tile set. Now comes the tricky part. I don't know what this is. What, what, what even is this? Huh? What? what the, how? I need to learn how to use Godot. In this complete free course, you're going to learn to create your first 2D game with Godot. Perfect. No help whatsoever. Oh no, a bug. I can stand on the payload midair? If I just... There we go. Now I gotta make some levels. Okay, so I came up with the idea of basically just using one level over and over, but changing a section at a time. And that led to this. We got four roots to work with on this bad boy. All unique, yet not unique enough to make an impact. That's how we like it here at Wooden Spoon Industries. Dull and non-memorable. This master level turned into four separate levels for the player to traverse through as follows. <sighs> Level 1. Starting off, the player must vault across beginner's rage. A flaming pit of molten rock just barely thinner than the player's maximum jump range. Then comes the snaking spikes. A three-floor tower of spikes, spikes, and more spikes. Then the player must jump across the pool of- Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. Level 1 takes the left drop at the beginning, level 2 takes the right drop, and level 3 takes the right drop and then opens up in the middle. Level 4... Uh, I, I don't know what happened in level 4. I think I just got tired of level making. I really have no idea. Now that we have a game, we need to playtest it. To do that, I have my good friend and target of my burning hatred, this guy. Recording? Okay. Um, in introduce yourself. No. No. <laughs> Let's see. So the arrow keys uh, are oh, for moving, right. and then I'll hold the space bar to pick up the box. <laughs> well, that's one way to play. All I know is that there's a glitch in this game that I don't remember how to do. 
Oh god, he knows too much. Yeah. Oh, I mean that. Yeah, that that's pretty much how you do it. This game. I'm never getting you to do anything again. <laughs> You're after this. Hey, if it's an, if it's another game like this, I'll never talk to you again. I swear to God. <laughs> Do you have any final words? I can die happy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I actually won. Is that it? That's it. The fourth level. Okay, what do I do in the fourth level? Where do I go? I have to go up there? Up there, yeah. Do I jump in? Congratulations, <laughs> it just fades to black. <laughs>